In July of 2016, Honorable Jibrin, Chairman of the House Committee on Appropriation, accused the Speaker and Principal Officers of padding the 2016 budget, with billions of Naira spread over 2,000 fictitious constituency projects. The revelation earned him a suspension and caused a national debate. In March this year, Senator Ningi of Bauchi Central alleged in a media interview that the 2024 budget was padded to the tune of 3.7 trillion naira. His claim was corroborated by Senator Agum Jaribe of Cross River North, who revealed that ranking senators received a sum of 500 million naira each. Like Honorable Jibril, Senator Ningi's comments also hand him the suspension. The attempt to quickly shut down any discussion on this topic prompted analysts to take a deep dive into the budget. The discovery? Lawmakers seem to have figured out a way of padding the budget via indiscriminate insertions. They do this by getting MDAs to insert projects unrelated to the function of that MDA. According to budget, over 7,400 projects worth 2.2 trillion naira with little to no national significance were successfully added to the 2024 budget. Why is a Cocoa Research Institute in Ibadan mm. constructing streetlights worth 100 million in Lagos or another 100 million on motorcycles in Oshun or another 100 million on healthcare? construction in Ondo and 200 million on classroom renovations in River State. Why is the Federal College of Fisheries and Marine Technology Polytechnic located in Lagos spending 40.8 billion naira to deliver 160 projects like tricycles for communities in Akwa Ibom State? Or another Polytechnic Federal Cooperative College Ibadan spending 47 billion like the construction of streetlights, solar panels and roads in the Portier Kitty in Mekorgo State and in Lara in Ondo State? Why is the Federal Cooperative College in Oji, which sent a proposal of 12 billion, got allocated 103 billion to purchase motorcycles and tricycles for, wait for it, youths in Ogun, Lagos, Oyo, and Oshu State? According to the president, those who are talking of malicious embellishment in the budget, did you understand the arithmetic and the baseline of what I brought. With all due respect, Mr. President, this is not about arithmetic or baselines. It's about integrity and accountability. It's time for us to put an end to this practice once and for all.